everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. And this time, oh, do we have a doozy. That's right, James has finally managed to unlock every dinosaur in the game. And what's the first thing he's going to do while unlocking every dinosaur? That's right, he's going to pit them in the one, the only battle of Reno. So, here we have the new and improved, or at least updated, for Jurassic World Evolution 2, Battle Arena. We have two spare hatcheries for any DLC creatures that will eventually come, as well as uh, one, two, three, four extra, you know, hatcheries we can put on, depending on how many creatures they release for this. Maybe there'll be something new for when it releases, I don't know. I assume when Dominion comes out, there will be. So, we have every dinosaur in the game, if we have a look, Acro, Albert, Aloe, from A to Z, and you'll notice one's missing because I accidentally oh. released it. <laughs> but they are all here. Just a quick rundown. There you go. You get to see them all finally ending with the Velociraptor. So we'll just have a quick look through the roster so you can see what we're, what we're going to be working with really here. So right off the bat, every dinosaur has um, traits that are bad. Uh, or at least a lot of dinosaurs do. I think everyone has a negative, which leads you to want to research the, the you know, the, the shark or the turtle to, you know, make it better. So if we just go into a genome just before we start the battle and what have you. Uh, so here you go, and this is how you would change it. So the health, um, the lifespan and stuff like that. And they're split up into these lovely categories. We have combat, uh, which of course is attack, uh, defense, and stamina. Don't know exactly how stamina works, but, you know, maybe we'll see a difference here. Oh, well, not every dinosaur has a, a chance of having bad traits. Here you go. You've got Carnotaurus with some good ones. Um, but there is, I think, with every dinosaur, a chance of it being intolerant and stuff like that. Um, so every dinosaur I've made, I haven't changed the genome at all. Maybe I've changed the skin, but that's pretty much been it. It hasn't affected anything. Uh, so let's have a quick look at this battle arena. Why don't we? Because I've just spent the best part of two hours kind of setting it all up. So here's the, um, where all the science happens. I did a look at that. That's the most impressive thing I've ever done with paths in this game. Because <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of update in the path system. Or at least it's a lot easier to make circles and stuff like that. Uh, if you make a curve, it'll then suggest a circle. And you just follow that around, which is so much handier. And one thing I've never played with here... Uh, restaurants and decorations. Maybe that's not why you're here for this video, but if you have a look at it, this is actually really cool. I've never looked at these buildings. Maybe we'll do a dedicated video on it eventually. Um, but pretty much, you can just kind of switch out all these different presets. It's not just like one or two. Uh, if we go to the signature, you can change it for crab, prawn, sushi, coffee, cappuccino, soda. And that actually changes the interior, as you'll notice. Um, I think that's that's awesome. There's so many different things that you can change it to. Even though it is just a, a sushi kind of restaurant, you can have... You've got your whole plethora of different icons you can switch to. Um, and not only that, you can change the colors. You can change uh, what I think is really a big difference is the decorations on the outside. So because I've put a park right next to it, I can easily just put some guests around to make it sort of fit in with it a little bit easier. Um, and placing decorations isn't too hard. Uh, the only thing I will say, and maybe I'll talk about this in my review, is that when I'm placing down things that want to be right next to each other, the screen shakes like a mother. Watch. If it's, so if I just want to like quickly place them down in quick succession, it's like, ah, ah, and I have to wait for the screen to stop shaking because that literally moves my uh, mouse. But uh, th th just a small gripe. So here we are in said battle arena. Now, good thing about Jurassic World Evolution 2 is they kind of catered um, the, the battle sort of situation for me. So... Basically, you can turn off icons so you don't have to see them all the time, which is nice because this, of course, this apatosaur needs a status check, but I'm not going to status check it because it's probably going to die. And for this purpose of this video, I don't need to. Uh, so in the settings, there is an option to stop that for, so you don't see it at all, which is great. But also in the sandbox settings, there is no starvation uh, and no dehydration, which was one of my biggest problems when looking at all the dinosaurs was before I made them all attack each other, the, the herbivores or the carnivores would start like dying and the ones that were panicking all the time. That no longer happens, so we should all be equal now. But the game has got a plethora of different environments that we've all put down, different terrains, and of course we're doing Canada um, because it's one of the environments that allows for the biggest sandbox area, and it doesn't like look like the original game. I feel like Isla Nublar and Sauna are basically the original game, and I'd, I'd, I'd want to look at something different. I'd love to do a deserty one, like San Diego. Haven't done that yet, and the challenge map is basically canyons, so we can't even put this in it. So, 
Spoilers, I recorded that whole battle royale, and guess what? The audio didn't record, so it was just a complete silent game footage while dinosaurs attacked each other. So one thing I want to say is there is a setting inside uh, the game itself to actually turn off the volume or the voice, sorry, of the character speaking as well as the subtitles. So what we can do is actually release all our dinosaurs and not have Owen Grady tell us all about the Indominus Rex or something like that. However, after doing this um, be once before, I've realized there is no way to turn off uh, carnivores attacking other carnivores and other herbivores. That just doesn't exist. You can turn off herbivores attacking each other, but unfortunately you can't do it the other way around. So what we're going to do is we're going to release all the herbivores and then very quickly is we're going to run through all the carnivores and just see what happens. I love how their little icons still pop up but they just don't say anything this time. Okay, so here are our beautiful dinosaurs. Sped up and now slowed down. We've got Mementiosaur, Nozutoceratops, Aranosaur, Nigosaur, Apachycephalosaurus, Nodosaur, Polacanthus. And what you'll notice actually about this game as opposed to its predecessor, Evolution 1, is I feel like what they've done is, ooh, the Aranosaur has a lovely pattern there. Um, <laughs> like how I've already done this, I didn't even notice that because it probably died instantly. Um, is that they've spent more time what to what appears uh, scaling the dinosaurs better. So, like, a lot of the, um, like, Stegosaurids or whatever you want to call them uh, are really small. The same with the Ankylosaurids, too. Um, so we have a whole bunch of all the different herbivores and, as you can see, there's loads of different plant plants that we've got around as well because, you know, we can't do mods at the moment, but there's a plethora of different stuff we can do. So that is a Sinsato, Edmontosaur, Camarasaur. I'm not going to tell you who won and who came second. It was it was a good one. It's such a shame that I lost that fudge. There's a Margasaur. We've got the Styracosaurus. We know for a fact that he probably won't last two seconds. Uh, uh, spoilers, I didn't even see him once in the last one, I don't think. <laughs> Instantly got annihilated. And if you have a look at the map, you can see all the different territories that are overlapping each other, which is crazy. Uh, we got the Niger, we got the Mutaburosaurus there, the Pachyrhinosaurus, we got Archaeonothomimus running, the Sauropelta, Pentaceratops, Stegosaurus, Parasaurus, you get it, it's all of the classics. But now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run through all the carnivores so i'm i'm gonna not cut this out because i don't know how this is gonna go because when i did this last time i started speeding through it and then i was waiting uh for everybody's you know for them all to say their things because i didn't realize you could change the settings and before i knew it oh i didn't really straight notice my my apologies uh, a, a fight broke broke out between acrocanthosaurus i think it was and another uh, carnivore. It was Baryonyx. That was Acrocanthosaurus and Baryonyx went at him straight away. So it'll be interesting to see who has the first fight. And what you'll notice is it's going to be very hard to keep track of these dinosaurs because you don't get notified uh, when they start to have a battle. Uh, very rarely you do, and I don't exactly know why that is. So here we go. That should be all of them, and the carnivores slowly filter in. And now... The games begin. They're, oh, they're, oh, I was going to say, they're panicking, but I don't think they are. Ooh. Oh, look, we've got the Hyunga Bunga. We've got the poor little Chasmosaurus there running. Look how tiny this thing is. The Chunky Grisaurus. I mean, it's probably not tiny. We, I mean, humans probably are, uh, well, smaller than it, but you know what I mean. Uh, just in, co in comparison to the titanic size of Mementosaur and stuff like that, it's... Uh, going to be kind of hard. So I'm not going to change any settings because I honestly don't think I need to. Uh, oh, we'll change comfort. Hold on. Oh, oh we will. Herbivores can also now attack each other and it's going to be a bit crazy. Oh, I can already hear Indominus. Oh, oh, Indominus, I think, is trying to make a break for the Mementosaur. Now, there is so many dinosaurs released at the same time. I'm wondering if we're going to have any issues with the animations playing. A bit like we had with the aquatics. It was like there was too many and they couldn't attack each other. Uh, oh, there we go. Our first dead dinosaur. Megalosaurus died to Indoraptor. Straight out the gate. Goes off to kill something. Oh, God. Oh, God. We, we have to keep an eye now. It's uh, it's all about to go off, and I have no idea where it's going to be. Okay, 
this is weird. They're, uh, they're kind of not attacking each other. It's a bit like it was with the... Oh, God, no, there it is. Oh, we got one. Indoor Raptor just pouncing on top there. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Oh, yeah, the deaths are piling up now. Deaths are piling up. We've got a dead... What is that? Chunkingosaur is killed by Indominus Rex. We've got a weak Momentosaur bitten by... I don't even know what bit that there. It could have been a Sukumayamis. It could have been a Baryonyx. Would be weird for a fishy to actually do something like that. Um, Copy is here too. However, I am not expecting that either to last more than two seconds. Oh, 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 oh! Why we got a friggin' Albertosaur chomping on the Apatosaur's leg there? Uh, I think we got a... Ooh, Indominus Rex. Oh, what's that doing? Oh, is it trying to line up Kamarasaur and Indoraptor's in the way? Oh, I think... Oh, we got a fight here between Giga Spinosaurus against Indoraptor. Um, and Indominus Rex trying to get there. Ooh! Oh, it died. Ah, it died. <laughs> it died right away. It didn't stand a single chance. Sorry, my voice is a little bit broken. I have just done two... Well, I'm doing two of these now. Oh, Indominus Rex goes for Kamarasaurus. Now, unlike the first one, all the big carnivores, and even some of the small ones, like, well, not tiny ones, attack the sauropods. So, whoa! What is <laughs> Fatally wounded by Indorat! Guys, what an... <laughs> that was amazing. The spaghetti monster enters the game. Uh, oh, Carcharodonosaurus takes down a Pachyrhinosaurus. I did not see that last time. That was amazing. Megalosaurus was killed. Yes, we know about Megalosaurus. A Margasaur killed by Giga. Uh, what is this we got? We got a, a Gallimimus. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, what else? There was something else dead over here. Margasaur killed by Gigantosaurus. Uh, Struthiomimus killed by Indoraft. Another death. Uh, oh, no. Wait. Hold on. It's this one. Ah, Iguanodon. Oh, wait. Is it Iguanodon? Allura Titan killed by Indoraptor. Now, we have 70 dinosaurs here. And already, we are down to 59. We've lost 11 dinosaurs. Uh, big carnivores? I mean, I'd say all big carnivores are, are alive, but uh, we've lost Megalosaurus. Uh, Penaceratops is on 6% health. Oh, it's on 7. It's recovering. It's recovering. Something on low health. Uh, was it the Camarasaur? Camarasaur is on low health. Uh, I kind of have to keep jumping into here. Dryasaur killed by Indoraptor on an absolute rampage. To just murder everything. Taking out a Parasaurolophus. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think the majority of things have been killed by it. It would have, as I would, it would appear. Indoraptor killed the Struthiomimus. We've got a little Troodon. Yes. Ooh, it was a little bit glitchy. Okay. Another death or low health. Sinsatosaurus killed by Carnotaurus Toast. Making its debut. Oh, we've got a battle here. We've got... Oh, Nozudoceratops. Oh, taken out by Changesaurus. Oh, that was lovely. It kind of went behind its crest and just sort of bit it there. Seeing some lovely animations. Aranosaur is hungry, but they should be all right. They'll not starve. They'll not dehydrate. It's all just a simple battle. Well, Baryonyx made it further than it did last time. It definitely died straight away. Ah, oh, Ceratosaurus killed Chasmosaur there. Oh, Ceratosaur and a Giga. Oh, they're having a drink together. Oh, maybe they're forming an alliance. It is Squid Game. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got an... Oh, a Padasaur fatally wounded by Albertosaur. It actually killed it. It must have kept on going for it. Uh, this Diplodocus, I think, has been hurt by uh, Indominus Rex. Indominus Rex roaring at a Deinonychus there, too. Oh, God. We got so much that it's so hard to keep an eye on. There's so many things dying low health. Good Lord. Indoraptor chasing after something. I don't know what that is. A Dilophosaurus. One of the favorites there. But oh, can it... Oh, no. It can't stand up to Indoraptor. Killed there in one foul swoop. There was no beating around the bush there. It was instantly killed. Deinonychus still alive. I have not seen Velociraptor yet. Compi is still alive! I don't know how that happens, but he's still kicking. Uh, Nodosaurus killed by Allosaurus. Ooh, I don't think I've seen Allosaurus. Uh, ooh, T-Rex? Did T-Rex attack? Momentosaurus? It might have. It's on 97%. It's slowly losing health. You'll notice, oh, I love that they're still popping up. Oh, no, Stiggy! Stiggy Muller killed by Indo, of course, killed by Interruptor. Interruptor is on an absolute killing spree. 
First time seeing Spinosaur here and Albertosaur. Majungasaur, we got a furious beeping of the tour vehicle somewhere. Dryasaur killed by Indoraptor. We've got a, a big Indominus Rex that is eating the spaghetti monster. Yes, it is. It's eating its prey. Iguanodon still making uh, an appearance. And Alasaur there. Now, will Iguanodon be able to even take on anything? If you remember, in the last game, it had its own unique animations for small carnivals. But, uh, oh, oh, the T-Rex attacking Dreadnoughtus there. Oh, it's on, what, 60? Oh, 68%, 67% dropping very quickly. Sauropods do not have any, or do not stand any chance now that any, any big carnivore can go for them. But maybe they will. It's hard to tell. Low health on some Sukumimus running over to something else. Uh, Baryonyx. Oh, Cryolophosaurus injured as well. But is it fatally injured? It's on 60%. Is it going to heal? Oh, it's healing. It was in a fight with something, but it's managed to survive it. Eupocephalus killed by Hararasaurus there. Proceratosaurus. Um, I don't... Oh, is it just killed something over here? What is this? Uh, we've got Gallimimus killed by Albertosaur. And Draco Rex killed by Proceratosaurus. Diplodocus killed by Indominus Rex. Albertosaur going over to eat it. T-Rex still... Whoa, that is a fast freaking Hararasaurus. T-Rex still not letting this Dreadnoughtus go. We've got a very sleepy Taurus. And there goes T-Rex chomping at the tail and biting at the leg at Dreadnoughtus. So it looks like once a carnivore locks onto a big sauropod, they don't let go until they die. Oh no, Indominus Rex running after a Ranosaurus. Run, baby, run now. <laughs> oh, it looks so cool. Though. Uh, if you paid on a Oranosaurus, no, it's, it's, it's not going to work out for you, unfortunately. Penaceratops died to a fight with the Giga. Is that a Velociraptor? It is a Velociraptor. Warding off a Sauropelter? That's interesting. I don't think those two can fight. Uh, Carithosaur killed by Giga right next to a Spinosaur. Has the Spinosaur uh, made any kills? It hasn't. Oh, that is so weird. However... Oh, it's getting close to the Giga. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't start a fight with that guy. It's not one that it will win. Um, oh, Kionothamai was hunted down by Indoraptor. An Indominus Rex charging through the forest. Mm, kind of looked at a, uh, a Cryolophosaurus there, then stopped and now is going camouflage. I'm Brogella! Styracosaurus killed by Indoraptor. <laughs> oh my god, they're killing so many. Mutaburosaurus killed by Indoraptor. Uh, we still got a Celiophysis. Metricanthosaurus, has that killed anything? No, that hasn't killed anything. We've seen some very peaceful carnivores, definitely. Oh, 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 it tried to get up an Iguanodon with like a unique animation. It's like trying to fend off Indominus Rex. It wasn't like the regular Hadrosaur where it ran away. That sort of held its ground before, unfortunately, Indominus Rex there. Uh, Put a little bit of a dampener on its parade. We are now down to 26. We've like halved. Proceratosaurus still surviving right next to a Triceratops. Carnotaurus. Oh, Carnotaurus taking on Ankylosaur. How is this going to go? Or are they? No, they are. Ooh, ow, we bit it. But I don't know. One whack from that club tail could send Carnotaurus into a fatal major fracture. However, Carnotaurus walking through the Ankylosaur there and 77% in comparison to 79%. Wow, the uh, Carnotaurus came off worse than the Ankylosaur. Maybe we'll see a herbivore win it. Oh, Myosaur kill hunted down by what? Hunted down by an unknown. I've never seen that before. I've seen like died to unknown circumstances, but I've never seen uh, hunted down by an unknown dinosaur. Oh, Allosaurus and a T-Rex there. Kind of getting on together. I don't know what the Allosaurus roaring at. Is he always oh, roaring at a cryo? Is he going to initiate a battle with a cryo? Oh, he is! Maybe this is what injured the uh, the cryo. It was an Allosaurus. Oh, oh, is it down? Oh, it's completely out. Just one shot. A bit like we've seen Spino and Styracosaurus in the past. Uh, Triceratops looking very relaxed. Right next to a, a T-Rex. I don't think it should be taking a mud bath or a sand bath while he's right there. But hey-ho, I'm not one to pass judgment. Maybe it'll make it easier to kill. Oh, look at that face. That Giga really wants this Taurosaurus. Yep, I think he's going to start a battle. But will it be an instant kill? Or will Taurosaur actually fend it off? Oh, one hit and it actually stands. Now, can it hit back is the question. Oh, yeah, it did. 
did. It actually managed to get a hit off. I'm surprised. Look at this. This thing is absolutely ginormous. Oh, Indominus Rex chasing after something there. I'm not sure. Just running away. Oh, another hit from the Taurosaur. Giga tried to get around the crest and then I think got hurt. Although... Oh, I don't know. It's not looking good for Taurus. or looking very beat up there. <gasps> We've got a snowstorm coming in, boys. Will this affect the outcome of the battle? Wow, it really seems like most of the carnivores have survived and didn't decide to fight each other. So maybe there's a preference. Maybe dinosaurs don't like to face up against, you know, other ones that fight back. And maybe that's like a preservation instinct. Um, especially seeing as we've got like a Triceratops alive there. Oh, God. Is oh, T-Rex and a Barry. Oh, it's like Fallen Kingdom. I, I, I'm not expecting the Barry to survive this. Oh, bless it. It's, it's put up a fight, but is T-Rex going to finish it? Oh, a fight back from the Barry. Not sure how much damage that can really do. And the chicken's out. Oh. <laughs> Our lineup is Troodon, Ceratosaurus, T-Rex, Sukumimus, Baryonyx, Triceratops, Albertosaurus. Velociraptor, Carnotaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus, Ankylosaur, Spinosaur, and a Triceratops, which, or a Taurosaur, sorry, which is slowly being followed by a Spinosaur smelling blood in the water. Now it has 10%. Has it been fatally injured by the Giga? I wouldn't be surprised if we see that health drop. That's exactly what that means. And unfortunately it is. Ah, that damn. It's either suffered like a major trauma or internal bleeding or a major fracture. It's something like that. The Pinocchio Dinosaurs, Changesaurus, uh, choosing a perfect spot to lay down right in the middle of the trackway there. <laughs> Ooh, we've just seen the end of a battle between Sukamimus, I think that is, and Indoraptor. Now, who came off worse is the question. Where are they? Okay, Indoraptor's on. Oh, wait, that's, Al <laughs> that's Allosaurus. 84% and Suko on 14%. Oh, that's not looking good. Is he want to fight again already? Surely not. It's basically just died in a fight and has turned around. And oh god, but oh, and Monosaurus made it there. Counted, of course, down by Interruptor. Who's our star player? I'm assuming. I was going to say Interruptor, but it's actually Acrocanthosaurus. Acrocanthosaurus. Oh, it's killed Sino. It must have just done that. Yeah, it has. So what stars are you on? 1016. Now, what is Allosaur on? Allosaur's on 600 nod. An Indoraptor. Oh! Oh, Sukumimus is fending itself off against every carnivore. It is on 10%, so it has been fatally wounded by the Indoraptor. Uh, Baryonyx, what are you on? Baryonyx is on 30%. I'd assume he's probably been fatally injured. It seems to be the fatally injured forest over there. Acrocanthosaurus taking a few bites out of a dead Cryolophosaurus there. Oh, Carcharodontosaurus not looking too good on 37%. I wonder what that had a fight to. Carnotaurus, no! Hunted down by Indominus Rex. Oh, damn it. And Kylosaur's still there. We'll be able to catch more of the uh, more of the battles now that a lot of the dinosaurs have ended up dead. <laughs> Taurosaur lost to a fight with Ceratosaurus. No way. He picked him off. Oh, wow. That's quite impressive. Oh, Stegosaurus and T-Rex. Oh, yes, it is. Stegosaur take him down. Did it even... It had 100%. Health. It didn't even put up a fight. And T-Rex takes out. T-Rex was on 70%. What on earth? Or even with a health disadvantage, the Stegosaur didn't get a single hit off. Ceratosaur on 72%, which means that Taurosaur might have actually uh, placed a few blows on it. So Taurosaur might actually be pretty decent. So a lot of these dinosaurs have random attributes. So, and that's kind of what I like about it. However, it would appear that Ceratosaurus has just made the worst decision of its life. And that is to take on an Indoraptor. Oh god, yep, yeah, it died. <laughs> it didn't put up any fight. It was just like, damn, Indoraptor killed it. Oh dear, Indoraptor and Indominus Rex are both on complete rampages. Uh, speaking of Indo Indominus Rex, I don't even know where he is. Oh, we've got a uh, Changesaurus squaring off against a T-Rex. I think are they relatives. But uh, it's just a roll. If they're a little bit closer, they'll actually have a battle. They sort of turn away like... Mm. I'm kind of wondering what's happening with the little carnivores. Because we we still have a raptor. And I'm wondering if we still have a Troodon and a Deinonychus. A Deinonychus. Okay, Sukumimus has died. Byronix is actually healed. 
uh, Deinonychus there. Oh, my Jungasaurus died to a fight with Giga. Did it even do any damage? No, it didn't even do any damage. Bless it. Oh, we got a fight here. Acrocanthosaurus has just murdered Baryonyx, taking not a single hit. Baryonyx just couldn't recover. 60% health against 100% health. Acrocanthosaurus just wasn't enough and has been turned into Dino Dindin. Ooh, Indominus Rex coming close to Giga. It would be great to see those two fight each other. Oh, Carcharodonosaurus lost! No way, lost to an Allosaurus. Okay, guys, these are exactly the same dinosaurs as uh, the last battle I recorded about an hour ago, and Carcar won. Carcar came second. My bad. I'll not reveal who came first, but Carcar came second. But to see it die so quickly here with how many dinosaurs left? With 13 dinosaurs, to think that came second and it's, what, 14th? And that's not even including, you know, like the small carnivores. Oh, we got a fight between Indoraptor. Oh, it does the kick onto a Triceratops. It's the last Ceratopsid in the entire battle. But can it fend off against the murderer that is Indoraptor just plowing kicks into it? It's just not nimble enough. But if it did that onto its face, that would be a... Yeah, that'd be a disaster. However, oh, shut down by Triceratops there. Try to go for another kick. Uh, but Triceratops not looking good. Oh, no, and it didn't make it. Indoraptor getting the last bite. At least it put up a good fight. It really did. Bless it. Oh, oh, and we've got uh, Pinocchio Lizard uh, eating, I think that's the remains of a car. Carcharodonosaurus. Spinosaurus killed. And Kylosaur, no. Is there any herbivores left or is that it? <gasps> that is it. Ankylosaur was the last herbivore. It just slightly pipped Triceratops there. Oh, oh God. Uh, I, if I was you, uh, Pinocchio, I'd get out of there. Changesaurus. However, it is on 9%. It, it's going to die. Oh, bless it. Oh, Deinonychus actually uh, eating with Indoraptor. Is this an alliance as well? It could be. With Indominus Rex and Indoraptor still in this game, it's all to play for. And who who's the uh, who's the most? Oh, it's Indominus Rex now. How many stars does he have? One thousand eight hundred and fifty. Oh, that's uh, you don't want to mess with him. What's his infamy level? I don't understand this whole infamy. Oh, it's infamy level five. Okay, it's it's apparently it's pretty badass. <laughs> Oh, Indominus Rex. Oh, when you see that thing on the move, you want to be worried. Oh, oh, we got a fight here between Allosaurus and Acro. Oh, I think we might do. The fight's basically concluding and we would still have Owen Grady and all the like still commenting on all our dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, Indominus Rex has its eyes on T-Rex. T-Rex is on 100% and so is Indominus. Oh, no. This could be good for the other carnivores. That yeah, I think they're going to go for it. Oh, T-Rex, did you see that? He was like, that I got you. T-Rex places the first blow. Oh, I don't know. I would have thought Indominus Rex would win. It's the most infamous and got the most stars. But it does look like T-Rex is showing a lot of scars. But Indominus runs away. T-Rex the victor. Oh, my. Is Indominus done for? Oh. <gasps> It's on 38%. Did it suffer any big damage? Any, uh, like, did it suffer any major fractures, internal bleeding, or organ trauma? Oh, it did! Indominus Rex is out unless it can try and kill something. Oh, and Deinonychus is also out, killed by Indoraptor there. So that means the only carnivore left, uh, the small carnivore, that is, is Velociraptor. If Indoraptor dies now, Velociraptor's won. However, oh, could this be? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Nah, it's a raw. It's a raw. I was going to say, could Indoraptor come to Indominus Rex's uh, savior there and uh, kill T-Rex? But no, not quite. We, it's all to play for still. We got so many big carnivores. Spinosaur killed anything. Oh, it has. Okay, it's won two fights and it's actually killed something. I wish it would show you what it killed, but that's good. I'm glad. It's actually taking part. If it bloody wins and it's barely killed any... Let's have a look at Giga. Giga has killed two things and been in three battles and hasn't lost a single one. Oh, 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 Spinosaur. Spinosaur taking out Indoraptor. Teamwork by T-Rex and Spinosaurus. Would you have believed it? It's like an alternate universe of Jurassic World. They didn't know they worked together, but they took out Indominus Rex. 
Well, I guess that answers a few questions. If you thought that maybe T-Rex and Spino could take it out, definitely. Pinosaur didn't even uh, suffer any wounds there at all. Hold the phone. We've got a rematch between Velociraptor and Indoraptor. Last time, Velociraptor easily killed Indoraptor, but no! Raptor didn't make it. It's dead. Indoraptor killed it. So last battle, Velociraptor basically won. It was, it was something else and Velociraptor made it through. But, oh, did you see the prowling here between these two? Giga and T-Rex just eyeing each other up from across the way. This kind of behavior is so cool. Oh, it's going to be a fight as well. Giga on 100% and T-Rex on 100. Who's going to win it? Oh, T-Rex gets the first hit in. Look at the t the living scars on the T-Rex. Oh, my God. It's on 100% and it has kept these scars. But can Giga, scarless and all, manage to win? Oh, it's running away! T-Rex won again. It's beaten Indominus Rex and it's beaten Giga. Now, can Spinosaur come and help clean up the mess is the question. If they want to form alliances, I'm completely fine with that. Wait, what? The oh, they're not fighting again right away, are they? No way. Does Giga think he can do better? Oh, no. No, they're not. Never mind. So our final contestants are Acrocanthosaurus, Gigantosaurus, T-Rex, Indoraptor, Allosaurus, and Spinosaurus. Oh, T-Rex just after its battle with Giga is wanting to take on Albertosaurus. I completely forgot about Albertosaurus. Oh. <laughs> was he the one that bit Diplodocus's tail? I think they did. And the leg and got pulled with it. The animation was so cool. Oh! I was going to say, oh, 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 dear. Oh, dear. Is Spinosaur wanting to challenge Indoraptor? I think so. It looked like Allosaur was getting protective over the food there. But I think Spin... Look at that face. Oh, oh, is it wanting to attack? I don't know. What's it going for? It's running away. Okay, it's running away. It's running away. I think Spinosaur just got scared of T-Rex there. T-Rex has come over and uh, not too happy with it. However, Allosaurus and Indoraptor are about to have a fight. Indoraptor being one of those dinosaurs that has never lost yet. I don't know how many battles Allosaurus has done. It definitely killed some. But can it take on Indoraptor? I'm really not sure. Oh, a shutdown there from Allosaurus. Now, Indoraptor did attack first. One's on low health. I'm hoping it's over here. Okay, I think it is. I think it is. I think this is the only battle going on. Oh, Allosaur ooh, is a bit janky there and decides to run away. Giga still makes... Oh, no! A Benosaur killed by Acrocanthosaurus! Yeah, yeah. Beeping's not going to make a move. It's dead. Both Giga and T-Rex now have had enough time to probably get back to 100% health. Oh! We've got a T-Rex and an Interruptor. No, they're roaring. They're roaring. Okay. Oh, T-Rex is not looking good. It's even got a red eye. Oh, and it's fight with Giga. It's sustained like some internal injuries and it's on 24%. No! Where's Giga? Did Giga sustain any injury? No, it didn't. Giga's jaws just must have lacerated it to the point where now T-Rex is like bleeding out. Look at those eyes. Oh, no. He's got like bloodshot eyes. Poor Rexy. Whereas Giga's like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> T-Rex is out of it. Now it's a case of whether it dies peacefully and alone, or if something decides to just end it. Without medical treatment, unfortunately, T-Rex will die. It's anyone's game, man. It's anyone's game. I'm gonna guess. I feel like Acro. Who's our star player now? Is it Indo? It's Acro! <laughs> it's Acro again. What's his stars on? 1016 only? Oh, God. Oh, God. I think they're finishing it. Oh, I think this is it. This must be it. They've roared now, and I think that's the sequence. Like, they roar, they go away, they come back, and then they fight. So I think this must be it. Oh, yeah, down it goes. Rexy didn't stand much of a chance there, and Giga takes it out. That leaves only five. Oh, Indoraptor going for Allosaurus. A mystery contender. I don't think I've ever seen Allosaurus fight, although I do know. Oh, Allosaurus is out. I was going to say, do you know Indoraptor is something not to be trifled with? Good Lord. Can anything stop it? That brings us down to our top four. Spino, Indoraptor, Acro, and Giga. <laughs> it's the cool big carnivores. It's Giga, bigger than a T-Rex, and Spino, Jurassic Park 3. 
<laughs> but they're not attacking each other. Not yet. But that could be a prelude of what's to come. Okay, here it is. The semi-finals. Acrocanthosaurus against Giga. Acro gets the first hit in. And then Giga gets the second. It, it might now be... Oh, it is. It's Spider versus Indoraptor. It looks like Acro might have this in the bag. Wins that battle. But who's going to win between these two Goliaths? Well, I shouldn't say that about Indoraptor. It's quite small, actually. But Spinosaurus... Oh, Indoraptor gets the first hit off! Could this spell the end for Spinosaurus? Is he going to get a hit in? Oh, shuts it down. Oh my god, that's so cool. I love it. And Indoraptor gets another kick off. I think whoever bites first kind of shows who's going to win. Oh, but another bite from Spinosaurus! It's a oh he lost. Spinosaur lost Indoraptor, even though it's quite small in comparison to these gigantuan uh, carnivores. It's holding its own. But did any of them sustain major injuries? It could be Giga and it could be Spino. So Giga has Giga's losing health, and I think Spino as well? Ooh, I don't know if they're gonna fight each other. No, Spino's on 41. Is it gonna get Oh, it's losing health as well? Acro, 71%. Indoraptor, 67%. Oh, it could be close. It's still all to play for. <laughs> Between these top four best dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution 2. No, Giga's still losing health. Spino might be in with a chance, but Giga is still suffering from its battle. No way! No way is Spino taking out Giga. Th these guys didn't fight each other. I think Spino's gonna kill him. I think he is. Spino's got 50 odd percent and Giga's got some sort of trauma with him. Yes! He's taking him out! It's the T-Rex kill animation and Spino gets the kill! You couldn't predict that! In Jurassic World Evolution 1, when two dinosaurs just start a fight, they continue it until one of them is dead. However, in this game, it seems to be whatever. Oh, he is as well! Now, we've just got a complete role reversal. The two winners now facing each other. Indoraptor still getting off the first hit. Now, it depends. Can Acrocanthosaurus deliver some damage to Indoraptor? And then, Indoraptor might lose to Spino. Yes, he does! Because Spino is recovering while Indoraptor is only losing health. And if Spino capitalizes on this... Oh, dear. Are we going to see Spino win? If it was just Indoraptor v Spino, Spino would have lost. But because of that intervention... Oh, they are both whittling each other down. Are they just going to die? Oh, look at the red eye of the acro. Indoraptor does win, but at what cost? It's so bloody now, and it might have some trauma. Oh, this this has turned out to be quite an interesting end. So 70% with Indoraptor, Acrocanthosaurus on 34, and Spino on 70 as well. Oh, this is it, the final battle. A thing that both equal on health. Maybe Acro can win this somehow. Oh, Spino now gets the first hit. No way. Oh, Interruptor still goes for the kick. But can Spino actually clinch this one? Another hit. That's two hits on the Interruptor and only one. Oh, another one on the Spino. I think Spino's won it, though. Yes, Spino's won. Interruptor. Oh, my God. And uh, I don't think he's doing too hard. I think Acro is probably going to die. <laughs> so what's that on? 66% for Spino. An Indoraptor on 28%. Did it just suffer some major catastrophic loss? How many battles has Indoraptor done? It's won 13 battles and killed 10 dinosaurs as well as 8 prey items. I think that's what that means. It has only lost one battle. And that last battle has actually caused Indoraptor to take some major damage. No. No, these guys are not attacking each other. 13 and a 9% health. <laughs> No, you're just gonna keel over and die roaring at each other. Don't do it. Indoraptor on 2% and Acrocanthosaurus on 4%. I think if we speed this up, Indoraptor dies. Closely followed by Acrocanthosaurus. Spinosaur is the winner. I can't believe that's how it ended. There was a big clash of final kill. So, Spinosaur being the winner of this one and I'll tell you who won the last one. Are you ready for this? Drum roll, please. Spino. Oh. 
Spino won the last one too. However, this time it really looked like Spino could very easily have lost. So with that being said, Spino being the most dangerous carnivore in the game, you know, as of course there's RNG involved, can it take on the dangerous thing in the game? That being a pack of raptors. We've seen them take out everything. I think they can even take out sauropods in a pack. Like, Brachiosaur stands no chance. Can a pack of three velociraptors kill Spinosaurus? Here we see a very outnumbered Spinosaur. Three raptors to one. Oh! Oh, we've got a battle here! I just sped it up and then all of a sudden they came out of nowhere. Oh, they jump on! Whoa! Oh, they both thrown off! <laughs> Spinosaur showing him who's boss. The third raptor is nowhere to be seen. In it comes a- Whoa! Thrown away! Oh, is that the third raptor? It could be. Latches onto the head actually does get a strike off. Spinosaur starts to move around. Wait, what? Wait, did they, did they die? Oh, they did die! <laughs> he saw it jumped and attacked and then fell off and he must have just died. Here we go. Three raptors added into the enclosure. Maybe that other one will now partake. Maybe it needs that extra confidence that one more pack member can bring. Are they all one group? Oh, they are. They've all decided to become, they've banded together somehow. All right, I'm excited. Oh, here it comes, the first latch on. Oh, onto a leg. Oh, and here they come. Oh, oh it throws it off. Throws it completely off. Third one. Oh, a turn. Oh, did it go flying? Oh, it did. It might have jumped off, but I think it went flying. Two attacking the sides. Oh, another thrown miles. Can they do it? Oh, I think it's a lot harder this time for these raptors to take down the Spino, but they've, I think they've, oh no, one died. Did two die? <gasps> he killed two. Whoa. We've had a pack attack where it was unsuccessful and some died. I'll admit, in the last battle, I did four raptors take on a Spino, and it was, I think I, when four attacked it, it died. But three, there does seem to be a, like a an interesting in-between spot where the hunter will live or the hunted will live. And I thought it was going to be a case of like either one dies or one survives. But this is interesting where part of the pack died. Um... Oh, and I think the other one's probably going to die as well. He's sustained some sort of trauma. He's on, what, 87% health? Is he going to die? No, he's healing, but it did lose some health. Oh, they got, they're finishing the fight. I was not expecting this. The other two raptors are joining in. I didn't think we would see a battle between two raptors actually being able to go for the Spino. Oh, they, oh, oh, God. Oh, dear. <laughs> that was, oh, they're, oh, they're not looking too good, like... Onto the head, was that a bad decision? Flies off. The other one also flies off. <laughs> oh, it's alive. The other one's still going to finish the attack, I think. Yes, there you go. And whoa, what a thrown a gazillion miles. A pack of four raptors is not enough to kill a spino. Or at least when they attack in threes and then a two, it's not enough. But that, I, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there. This spino even took damage from an attack like that from three and a two and has survived. I think it deserves a round of applause. It survived. I'm happy with that. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. We've had some turns and I thought we were, the Indoraptor was going to win and then all of a sudden the Spino pulled out the bag when the crossover of opponents. Oh, that was so much fun. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.